Welcome in this segment and in this segment I'm going to talk about the pointing device. Remember we're talking about the input devices and we said that input devices is made up of three uh, three types. You have what we call the, the king device. We have talked about the main king device that is the keyboard. Talked about types of the keyboard. If you missed that video, you can go to the description section so that you can go to know what keyboard, uh, what king devices um, does what the key devices does and how you can go to use it how many keys does a keyboard have and how uh, each and every key uh, and what role does it play you can go to find that when you go to the description section go to get that video there now today we want to talk about pointing now when you point there is some kind of um, a cursor so every time you talk about the pointing device it means that there is a cursor somewhere that is helping you to to move now for example i do have a cursor on my keyboard uh, you can go to see on my screen i do have a cursor so this cursor is being pro is being controlled by what we call the pointing device now when you say pointing device is mainly used to control an insertion pointer so this one is my insertion pointer or the cursor on my screen now the first pointing device that you should know is what you call the mouse a mouse is a we have got multiple types of mouse but the one that we are going to use for example the one that has been displayed down there is what you call the optical mouse why do we say optical mouse because it is being controlled by the light yeah so it is light sensitive that is in case you move it okay you'll be able to see some light at the bottom of this particular uh, mouse now in this particular case we have got two buttons we have this button the left button and then we have the right button and then we have got a cable that can enable you to connect to the computer so that you can be able to use it effectively so that is very important for for you to know in that particular space now going further to the next uh, slide is that when you talk about the 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 the, the mouse the mouse also we have what you call the bluetooth mouse so with this one is that you take this uh, sensor, this sensor that is here, and then you plug it into your computer system. And then this is a mouse that enables you just to use it any, anywhere within a certain range of, 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 time, of place. So it doesn't need that you need to attach it exactly to your computer system for you to use it. So you can just attach the sensor and then you can go to use it uh, to some kind of uh, almost 10 feet or so okay then you go to a touchpad so when you talk about the touchpad is somebody can go to operate the computer by just using the the touchpad so where is the touchpad the touchpad is here so this is the touchpad you can go to use this particular part so the moment you start uh moving your mouse or you're moving your hand on this uh, smooth area we call it the touchpad you'll be able to see the insertion point on your screen start moving towards the position that you want it to move then you can be able to see that it has got also the some left button and the right button that is there in that particular in that particular device. You can see here we have got the left button and then the left the, the, the right button. Then we have the joystick for scrolling. So we have the, some joystick here that can enable you to move uh, up, down, uh, uh, top, uh, left, right, and so on and so forth. Now joystick we have it there. I've already explained that. And then you have said that it's used to navigate the pointer. On the screen it is mainly used for playing videos so for those who have who have been uh, in playstations joystick is one of the devices that is mainly used to to move objects on your screen so you use that uh, that uh, that this device to control uh, the game actions by verifying by by varying the pressure the speed the position of the joystick so if you want the player to move at the top you create there's a way you are supposed to do that if you want the, the player to move faster, there is a play you are supposed to press the keys and also and so forth. So that is just basically how joystick uh, works. Then we move further, you can be able to see an example of the joystick at the top here. So this is a joystick, you can see it at the top here. Then we have also the stylus. So when you talk about the stylus, it is mainly used to write on a touch sensitive screen of a um, of a smartphone or a tablet so this is just examples of the stylus so a stylus is just like a pen but it's something that is case it is a touch sensitive it is used on a touch sensitive screen okay so it's a special pen that can be used on a touch sensitive uh, 
screen and you can see the examples are there then you have the scanners also we have got the scanners and then we talk about the scanners basically they are used to capture data uh, from an object and convert it into digital format so if you want to convert data into a digital format you are supposed to use the scanner okay then we have what you call the optical scanner so when you talk about the optical scanner is that uh, it captures data using optical light so light beam passes over an object and uh, and the object is analyzed by the special specialized software so in this particular space of op optical scanners we have got different types the ones that use the beam of light to convert object into digital form number one is what you call the optical mark recognition so it detects the mark made on a piece of paper using ink so in the case you want maybe you are you're marking some responses from your from a questionnaire and sometimes you want to move with a lot of speed and with a high speed this is the right machine to go for because it allows you to detect to detect the mark that has been made on a questionnaire quite easily uh, compared to just uh, marking it using your eyes okay now this is an example of a mark uh, optical mark recognition is used mainly to mark multiple choice questions so i've said if you are doing a survey and then you want to have a solution that can help you to get the right responses within a very short time then you can be able to purchase the the uh, optical mark recognition then you have what you call the optical bar recognition is mainly used to capture data encoded as lines of varying thickness which we call the barcode so you can see here we have the example of the barcode so this is the barcode here and then we have the barcode reader machine here so this is a this is a handheld this one is handheld so this one is the one that uses the hand and then this one mainly is used um, using the um, on the desk okay so when you go to the supermarket sometimes you want to purchase goods that is the the machine they use to in order for you to be able to gain uh, for you to build the the, the products that you, are, you want to purchase okay so that is it about the barcode reader and then you go further we have what you call the optical character recognition it is used to read handwritten uh, text for example you can be able to read it by okay by, by by putting that image here and then you can be able to read through that uh, that text that have been written then you have the magnetic scanner so a magnetic scanner basically is used to capture data written using a magnetic ink uh, machine so you can see this is one that uh, is mainly used maybe to read the checks yeah so you can have one a mag a magnetic ink character recognition and you can see this one is mainly used for check readers so it's just trying to check the that the signatures the track it checks everything that has been written and so on and so forth and so forth so this is just a machine that enabled you to be able to identify the characters that have been written using the ink and then this one is mainly used to capture those that are being used uh, those are being written by the magnetic ink already this is what we are just talking about in this space here then we have what we call the digitizers We're talking about the digitizers allows the user to directly draw an image using the stylus so with this digitizer it allows you to do some kind of drawing and these digitizers are mainly used by the engineers so an engineer can use this uh, digitizer to draw a detailed uh, uh, architectural plan and so on and so on and so forth so with the digitizers have made it possible for you to do that another scanner we have what we call the digital camera it is used to capture picture and videos that are stored in digital form and this information or this video that we are capturing is stored in what we call the memory card so the more the the higher the memory card that you have or the higher the storage space that you have the higher the, the 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 amount of space it can be able to accommodate okay sorry for that now so going further we have what we call speech recognition uh, devices remember we're talking about input devices we have talked about the 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 pointing device we have talked about the scanning device we are talking about the speech recognition device it is used to capture the natural sound and convert the input into digital form so through what through the microphone so we have the microphone here so you speak whatever you want to speak on this microphone this sound is going to be converted into digital form and then transmitted to an amplifier or to transmit it to, um, to, a, to, to a speaker so that people can be able to hear what you're trying to talk about 
another very important device is what you call the smart board. So a smart board is mainly used in the classroom setup and uh, you can go to the content is projected on the surface where the user controls the, the, the computer and write using a special pen. So this is just the information that has been displayed from the computer but you can be able to interact or control the flow of this information by using a special pen that enables you to write on that, uh, on that screen or you can be able to demonstrate using a pen on that screen that has just been displayed on this particular end here. So that is what you call the smart board. It's mainly used nowadays in the, in the, in the lecture rooms. It is used in, in colleges, it is used in university and even to some, some high school and so on and so forth. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. This is um, Ubitech Ego. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when I create the next content, you'll be informed. Thank you so much and bye-bye for now.